Shoti, të bësh edhe ti ndryshimin të ndë. Universiteti Vitrina. So, if he considers now the contract, it refers to present, but if the price is okay because he will consider the contract tomorrow, it means that it refers to future or to a near future later, mm -hmm. after an hour, near future. So still, it refers to present or future good. What about the condition? Is it true? Is it unreal? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. A possible condition. What about the result? You'll accept. It's all possible. Mm -hmm. Or a real. A huh? real result. Okay. So, when you have two parts of a sentence, hmm? a complex sentence, so it means if you have the modal verb will plus infinitive and you have the conjunction if, which is followed by present tense, in this case we have very good. So we have a sentence which we call it first conditional. Now what is the difference between the first conditional and zero conditional? In zero conditional we said the speaker says that the case, the sentence, he is just articulating, it's true in general, so it resists, it's true to all time. While in first conditional, the speaker is referring, is saying, is telling to us that the sentence, the situation, it is true about present or future. So it has a condition which refers to present time or future time and it's possible about present or future. And also the result is real hmm? in present or future. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. okay. We will continue with another one. So another sentence. You, for example, what would you wish if you had a lot of money? Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's how is it? It's practical to come to school. Yes. Or you need it only for the place environment near your home. Do you need it most for work, for school, or why do you need a car? Or is it just a tendency to have a car? Here, add by, this is the short form for would. Yeah. 
this is infinitive. So we have used what? Future in the past or put. Yeah. Put past infinitive or future in the past. Okay. What do you think? This situation refers to. So if I got the job or I'll buy the new car, if I got the new job. So if I got it comes to the past. Something impossible because it doesn't happen. The past has done. Now it's present. So once more. Once if again, it mm -hmm. refers to the past. So if I got it, it refers to the past. Well, it goes. Mm -hmm. And it is an impossible condition. Okay. Because if we say if I got it, we didn't get it. So if I got the new job, it's kind of wish. It's the same thing as if I heard taller I join the basketball team or I'm going to write it short, the basket team or if I were the president build more schools, more hospitals. Now, same thing. You should remember that. So, what we are doing now is second condition. Uh, about all person, you should use the verb be in the form of were because maybe you're used to conjugating it. I was, you were, he, she, was. But in second conditional, so you should apply where in all persons when you conjugate. Let me say, if I were taller, does it mean that it's a past situation and I cannot do anything about it? No, it refers to present. So if I were, but I'm not. Listen here. So if I don't, but I know I can't because maybe I don't have the right qualifications. Mm -hmm. Hmm? But. I can't give it, so it means I know. Mm? I'll buy a new car. Still, I can't do it because I can't get the new job. Now, here, if I were taller, how would you say, but I'm not? If I were, but I'm not. So it refers to what tense? But? Oh, okay. I'm not. If I were the president, but I'm not. So it refers to present or maybe if I say if I were now, I'll do it, or if I were president after two years or four years election, it means future also. Now this, I'll join the basket team, I'll build, it refers to either now or future, present or future Do you think that the condition is probable or improbable? The condition, if I got, if I were, hmm? so it's improbable. Now, why don't we say, for example, impossible? Because maybe sometime in the future I could be the president. Who knows? I might be, or I might get a, a diploma in politics, I might, for example, be or have a place in parliament, I might be elected later as president of this country and so around the country. So it means that chances, probabilities, they are, but they are really small. So we say about present or future, it's improbable for this to happen. And what about I've joined the basket team, the main part, I've built schools. Now I can't. So it means it's unreal. Hmm? Unreal. Oh. So what is this? It's just imaginary. Huh? Imaginary situation.
Education. So it means that the speaker is dreaming. The speaker maybe is hypothesizing. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about so uh, small children that they usually say that if I were a princess, for example, huh, I would have servants serving me. I would have a private teacher teaching me. Or if she is not allowed eating sweets during the week, only at weekends, it means that she would eat sweets every day because she would be allowed. Okay, so it's just imaginary. Uh, the girl would say also that if I were a princess, I would ride on a white horse. <laughs> okay, so just imaginary. Now, if you pay attention to these symptoms, so till now we have said zero conditional, first conditional, this one is second. Huh? Second conditional. is different from first conditional. What is different? Now, if you have a look, we said about first condition, it had real result and it had possible condition. If you have a look,